At this place in history, we're at Chimney Point in Addison County. I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve Perkins, what are we doing here today? So we are checking out the Chimney Point State Historic Site. I mean, one of the most important areas for human habitation in the whole Champlain Valley and they touch on all of it. They've got a great museum and we're going to go in and we're going to talk to uh, the state archaeologist Jess Robinson and he's going to talk about some of the earliest residents of Vermont. We're at Chimney Point and um, the point part of Chimney Point is really important because it was a strategic location for thousands of years, in fact probably 9,000 years or more, for Native Americans to traverse across the lake as a strategic location to catch fish, waterfowl, other important food resources, and also an easy place to land, um, find shelter from the winds, and we see evidence of that in the archaeological record here. We have found remarkable evidence of human habitations here, uh, spanning the pre-contact and then historic record, but today what we're going to focus on is the native record. And so thousands of years ago Native Americans were here, what do we know about them? Well, uh, Chimney Point again was very strategic and so this was uh, a stopping place. It, we have found through um, uh, materials that have been recovered that this was probably a locus of trade and exchange among neighboring groups or bands, uh, uh, lithic or stone materials from uh, far-flung locales, possibly even up to Labrador, but certainly the Hudson Valley, western New York, Pennsylvania, making their way here. The earliest spear point that we found uh, here at the bridge was very fragmentary, but we as archaeologists could determine it dated to a period we call the early archaic period, beginning about 9,000 years ago and spanning to about 7,500 years ago. The, the actual um, projectile point is, in a, is getting ready for an exhibit right now. So the next oldest um, fully documented spear point that we have here dates to about six to 5,000 years ago. Um, it's referred to as an Otter Creek type spear point. Very robust, was hafted to a spear. This was long before bow and arrow technology was invented. What would they have uh, hunted with that spear? So they would have hunted moose, Deer becomes extremely important after the Paleo-Indian period or the, into the Archaic period. There are scattered um, indications that they did were in Vermont, at least in this early, um, early time period. And then a variety of smaller mammals. Uh, you know, one of the things that we're still debating as archaeologists, would, would have these been effective for things like waterfowl or smaller creatures, or would they have had a different technology that isn't as observable in the archaeological record. And that's one of the things that we're getting at. Because we know they ate those things, but how they actually got them onto the plate is, is a question we're still asking. Now, you do that in real life, right here at, at Chimney Point? We, isn't there we, an ad ladle through there, it? There is. And yes, um, prior to the introduction of the bow and arrow, um, Native Americans used spears. But they didn't just hand throw a spear, which if you've ever tried, even the best javelin thrower would probably have a tough time you know, killing a moose at distance with yeah. their handheld spear. Instead, they would use what's called the spear thrower, which was essentially an extra extension on the back of a spear that went into a little hole in the back of the spear. And it was a lever that when you threw, increased the spear throwing uh, velocity by about tenfold. At this place in history. Excellent.